So this morning, I'm gonna show you a video of consistency of cement. Some people use a semi-dry, some people use a wet. I'm gonna show you the difference between the two after I'm gonna put one in there, one next to it, one semi-dry, one wet, primed up. At the end of the day, I'm gonna lift it up and see the difference of what exactly the primer does. Hopefully this makes sense. You'll soon figure it out now when I start laying. Right, here we go then. So I'll put a semi-dry on the left, flatten it out, and we'll use a wet mix then to the other side of it. Let me just, let me grab some of the semi-dry. So, that's the type of texture. You can crush it in your hand. Some people say, as long as it forms a ball, you're okay. Well, I'll show you the difference. Okay, spread that out. You spread that out. I'll just grab the grabo now, stick one on top. Start that. So I'm going to hit them down exactly the same amount of taps as the others, just so one's not more preferable than the other one. Where right, I put a wetter mix down next. Right, so obviously that one's the wetter one. <coughs> so, they're in, it's about midday-ish, something like that. So when we finish, in about five hours time, we'll lift them up and you can see exactly why you should use one over the other. I'm not gonna say what the result is yet until they actually lift it up. So I'm gonna get back over there. Oh, hang on. Camera went a little bit wobbly. I'm gonna get back over there now and start laying some other tiles. Back in several hours time, see you in a bit. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So back to the end of the day now. It's literally been six hours or something. So we'll put the grabo on the tiles and we'll see how it panned out. I know pretty much how it's gonna pan out. The semi dry, I'll pull it up and it'll just have little bits of primer stuck, little bits of cement stuck to it. But the cement underneath would absolutely still be fine. So, right, I'll stick on it. The one on the left is um, semi-dry. Right, let's get it on it. By the way, if you haven't got a grabo, get yourself a grabo. Right, so this is the semi-dry. Actually, it did stick, it did pick up quite a lot. That is actually quite surprising. All right, we pick up the wet one. As you can see, the wet one. It's picked up the hardcore and everything. That's loads. Oh. Oh, 
I'll just pick up the semi-dry one again. Yeah, well, actually, it's picked up quite a lot. Maybe this experiment didn't go down as well as I thought. I was pretty much sure it was only going to pick up a little bit of cement off the back of the semi-dry. So, this could be a video. So I've cleaned everything up here now, it's all gone. All removed it all. So the moral of this story is, I did a semi-dry mix before on a patio, which I had to take up because we had colour issues. But I used the primer, I used a brush. I brushed it on. And it did pop up really easy virtually no cement stuck to the primer at all so i suppose if you lava it on which i have been doing since that patio then semi-dry is fine so the moral of the story is semi-dry is fine wet's fine if not better but lava the primer on put it on nice and thick don't use a roller or a brush because it doesn't really do much. So I hope we all learned a lesson from this. Get loads of primer, wang it on, make it nice and thick. Happy days. Right, I'm off, the end of the day. See you next time.